What's going on guys? Private Weapon Teacher now, so I'm here to show you guys how you can automatically shout out your friends as soon as they type in chat for the first time on your streams using Fossabot. In order to do this, all you are going to need is a shout out command of sorts. As you can see on the screen right now, I use stream elements for my shout out command, and but the way you set up the command will be the same whichever bot you use. However, keep in mind that the variables for each different bot um, will be slightly different, uh, as you can see on my screen, I, mean, I have this set up for myself, but I will have this phrase as well as for Nightbot and Streamlabs Chatbot, whichever bot you use for your shoutout command. Uh, down in the description below, I'll have the phrase that I use uh, for mine edited for each different variable for each different bot. Feel free to just copy that and, and edit it to your liking. But... Uh, things to note with this shoutout command, you will need your bot uh, modded as typical and make sure that your access level is moderator. Of course, some people do their shoutouts for VIPs. It's always better to keep it as moderator anyway. Makes it easier for bot purposes. But once you have your shoutout command, you will need to log in to Fossabot. Uh, simply log in. When you get to the main dashboard, uh, this is what it will look like. Make sure to log in with your Twitch. Uh, I'm already logged in, so I don't need to do it again. But uh, once you are logged in, there will be a window. Uh, I've zoomed in a little bit, so yours will look slightly different. But there will be a button here. Mine says part channel. I will log out of this just so you can see. Uh, it will sh say join channel in here. Uh, once you click join the channel, it will recommend you mod Fossabot. Just simply type this in your chat box, wherever. Um, and it will join the channel. But once you have done that, you are going to want to click the option above my head here on the side that says keywords, and then you are going to want to create a new one. As you can see, I've already done it, but for the purpose of this video, we're gonna create a brand new one. So you can name your keyword whatever you want it to be. I'm just gonna call it shout out just because that is easy. Now the response part here is the key part. Uh, as you can actually see on the drop down here, I actually got this wrong the first time I did this uh, because I misread the variable. But what you are going to want is to check your stream elements command and make sure your command name is the same um, across the both. Most common people, or most of the common uh, commands is exclamation mark SO, short for shout out, of course. Some do the full word shout out, but so long as this command is the same, uh, it will work either way. So we are going to do exclamation mark dollar sign brackets sender. Uh, the brackets do are actually are very important because if you don't actually put the brackets in, it will literally just type shout out sender. Uh, no kidding. Now the next part here is the important bit is the phrase group. Now your phrases will be the people you want to shout out. So for the purpose of this example, I'm going to shout myself out because I'm totally egotistical. Ah, uh, not really. And then once you have typed it in, make sure you press enter so you get this blue box. Now, if you want to add multiple people um, to your keyword, uh, you can actually do this all in one go. However, do not, for example, if I type the name of one of my mods, Average Gaming 17 shout outs to Average, of course, and I put it here, do not put it here, it will not work. It will make the bot try to look for um, the person that has both of these in their name instead. So what you want to do instead is add a different phrase group and then shout out and then put the next person in underneath. Now, if you're like me and have a bunch of people that you want to shout out, this process will take a lot of time. However, if you only have a few people you want to shout out, this will take no time at all. But for the purpose of this, we're just going to leave it as myself. Now, the conditions themselves, you don't need to change. Uh, if you do not want to, uh, you can if you want. Obviously, don't set minimum bits. You don't really need to. And use relative time. This is fine because um, it will use it whatever time zone you are at. And now the next thing you want to look at is cooldowns. I am in the way. So let me move myself over real quick. Um, whoop. Let me quiver dance over to the other side. Alrighty. And then what you are going to want to do is check your cooldowns. Uh, global cooldown you do not want to change, uh, however, user cooldown you do. Uh, this is actually important. Uh, you can actually do this as zero cooldown if you want to. Uh, this just means that if multiple friends uh, in chat join at the same time, 
uh, it will shout out them at the same time. So I could change this to zero. Now, the reason you want to change the user cooldown is because you do not want them to get shouted out every like 10, 15 seconds or so. Uh, you only want them to get shouted out once. Now, I personally use 10,800 seconds, which for those who don't want to do the math, that is three hours. Um, that is what I use for my cooldown, which means most of the time my streams are about three to four hours long. So it may shout out them out once, it may shout them out twice in the stream, but that's totally fine. And then what you want to make sure is you keep the response as say, this will normally um, type the response in your chat, but you want to change the target from message to username. And the reason you want to do this is because you want this bot to look up the matching username of your phrase group. So this will be, in my case, it will be Rebombi Teacher. Now, once you have done all of this, make sure you save it. Hence, there's a save button right below me on the screen and you'll see it added here. Uh, now, let me quickly check which is the one I've just done. Uh, it should not actually matter anyway, because um, I didn't put myself on my main shoutout command. But once you have done that, you are going to want to go into your OBS. Uh, for some reason, I accidentally moved my capture. Let me fix that. You gotta love when things decide to move on you. But we will move our OBS class on here. We will have a nice bit of streamception. I'm gonna move myself out of the way. All uh, right, and then what you are going to want to do in your OBS is before anything, if you haven't modded Fossabot, make sure you do so. I'm going to show you that I already have it modded right here uh, with Fossabot as well as my shout out bot for stream elements. And then we are going to move over in and then we are simply just going to type test in chat and it should automatically shout me out like so. And that is it. That is all you need to do. And you will literally add um, as many streamers in as you would like to do so. Uh, and as soon as they type in chat for the first time, they will get their shout out automatically. And that's all there is to it. So if you found this tutorial helpful, let me know how down in the comments below. Oh, if you have any questions, of course, feel free to uh, ask in the comments below or reach out to me over on Discord or Twitter. I will definitely do my best to help where possible. But as always, guys, if you have any other tutorials you would like me to go over and help you with, feel free to ask. But as always, thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay awesome, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.